Good morning, class. Please sit us all stand for the prayers to be led by Marikar. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, class. Before you take your seats, please pick up some pieces of paper, and after that, arrange your chairs properly. Okay, you may now take your seats. Okay, class. See present if your name is called. Rayame. Azora. Even. Arthur. Charming. Okay, now, I have here a crossword puzzle. All you have to do is to encircle the missing word inside the puzzle. Okay, who wants to answer first? Yes, Rayami. Very good. Another. Yes, Arthur. Very good. Who else? Yes, Charmy. Very good. Who else? Yes, Jenica. Very good. Last one. Very good. Okay, this time, let us read the encircled word. That's great, class. Okay, is your activity is interesting, class? Okay, let's proceed to another activity. Get one for sheet of a paper and answer the following crossword puzzle. You have five minutes to answer. Okay, we now start. Class, your five minutes is over. You may now pass your paper. Okay, class. Do you want to play a game? Okay, and now we have a game. This game is called charades. I want to choose one representative to act here in front. And all members will guess what is being acted. Okay, I will choose Jenica to act here in front. Okay, let's start. Act number one. Very good. Act number two. Very good. Act number three. Very good. Act number four. Very good. That's great, class. Okay, class, and now you will watch the video presentation showing the different parts of the cross-section of an earthquake as a guide to answer the activity that I will be given to you after this video presentation. when two blocks of the earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where the slip is called a fault place. The location below the earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter and the location directly above it on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter. Sometimes an earthquake has four shocks. These are smaller earthquakes that happen in the same place before a large earthquake takes place. The largest main earthquake is called the main shock. Main shocks are always followed by aftershocks that occur in the same place and can continue for weeks, months and even years. What causes earthquakes and where do they happen? The earth has four major layers. The inner core, outer core, mantle and crust. The crust and the top of the mantle make up a thin skin on the surface of our planet. But this skin is not all in one piece. It is made up of many pieces covering the surface of the earth. These pieces are called tectonic plates and the edges of the plates are called the plate boundaries. These 
these pieces keep moving around slowly, sliding past one another and bumping into each other. These plate boundaries are made up of many faults and most earthquakes around the world occur on these faults. Why does the earth shake when there is an earthquake? While the edges of the faults are stuck together and the rest of the block is moving, the energy that would normally cause the blocks to slide past one another is being accumulated. When the force of the moving blocks finally overcomes the friction of the jagged edges of the fault, it breaks free and all that stored up energy is released. The seismic waves shake the earth as they move through it and when the waves reach the earth's surface, they shake the ground and anything on it, like our houses and us. The energy radiates outward from the fault in all directions in the form of seismic waves like ripples in a pond. How are earthquakes recorded? Earthquakes are recorded by instruments called seismographs. The recording they make is called a seismogram. The seismograph has a base that sets firmly on the ground and a heavy weight that hangs free. When an earthquake causes the ground to shake, the base of the seismogram shakes too, but the hanging weight does not. Instead, the spring that is hanging absorbs all the movement. The difference in position between the shaking part of the seismograph and the motionless part is what is recorded. So let's proceed to our group activity. I will group you into four groups and each group will be given a task to perform. Using a diagram, label the different parts of the cross section of an earthquake and choose your answer from the choices below. Describe each part of the cross section and give conclusion on your activity. And now you will present your work. Discuss each part of the cross section of an earthquake and describe each part. And you will be given 5 to 7 minutes only. That's great! Give yourself a hand of applause. And now give a summary of what you have learned today, including the importance of studying earthquakes through oral recitation. Okay class, I will be divided you into three groups. You will demonstrate awareness of the effects of an earthquake through simulation. Group 1 before, group 2 during, group 3 after. Each group will demonstrate on what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. You will be given five minutes to practice with your group. Your performance must only take a minute or two. Your performance will be rated based on the rubrics that I will be given. So, your five minutes to practice starts now. Okay, your five minutes is over. You may now perform. Okay, very good. So, what will you do when you are with your group working with the activity? Yes, Arthur? Okay, you must cooperate. Let's proceed with our last activity. Get one for sheet of paper and answer the five items multiple choice. Write the letter of the correct answer. Okay, pass your papers. So, we are done with our topic for today, which is earthquakes. So, for your assignments, research about pollution from minerals and soil. Write it on your assignment notebook.